Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you or to show you how to create a RESTful web service using NetBeans. The first step is to create the entity classes. Go to the service and try to connect to a database where we will use MySQL database and we will create a new database. Let us name it example and grant access to anyone any one at root at local host okay the database is created example database okay now go to the project and create a new java web project go to next let us rest all ABI uh, okay what next uh, I prefer using Glassfish server because it includes uh, most of the libraries needed to create a web service you don't have to add more libraries or jar files accept <coughs> now the project uh, file is created go to the, so to the source package and create an entity class create Let's name it user. Model package. Name the package. Model. And in the primary key, long. You have to choose the data source new that source in the name and select the connection to the example database we have just created okay we select to the table generation strategy create uh, because the the table was not created or is not exist in the database finish this is a skeleton for for this entity we need to add private string full name and private string pass word and those are
create the shitters and getter shared code getters and shitters for full name of password generate now the entity class is ready we can uh, run the or debug the project we can going to project file and create new restful web service from entity class we have the user in the library as the package model add this and the resource package for the web service will be uh, with the name service and then click finish now this package is generated for us as the abstract facet and the application configuration and the user facet rest web service it shows here and it created the Java being needed to let's see the web service with the rest full web service and it has the uh, create method create new uh, entity or new user it uh, consumes application XML uh, or can consume JSON and this to edit an entity it also consumes application XML and media type also application JSON we can delete remove method and uh, we can find by ID and we can list all the the users and this broad uses uh, XML or yes and these uh, find range from ID uh, to and this will give us the count of all the users in the uh, database let us uh, by default uh, this web service okay let us uh, run this file run the project it will be deployed uh, on the glass fish We are going to test this web service using this uh, adding in the Firefox browser called REST client. Okay. The glass, the glass fish is starting. Oh. 
testing glassfish. Glassfish server is running. Now the project will be deployed. Okay. Now it is deployed. Let's go and click test resource URI. We have no user. We have no user. Now we are going to the service services. Go to the example database we have just created and refresh it. See now the, the Java version created the database table for us. View data. We have nothing. password whatsoever so okay this row is added we are going to test we are going to test this web service okay this is the row we have just inserted let's go and insert a new row Insert a new row. Some one. Give it the password. Some okay. Go and fresh. Send Thank you for watching. In the next video, we are going to show you how to uh, send the, the feedback of the service, to the, of the web service, or, or I mean the response as XM as uh, JSON uh, format, not XML. So by default, after completing the steps we followed in this video uh, the default uh, the default uh, format of exchanging data using this restful web service is the XML format okay please watch the next video to uh, see how to uh, uh, transfer the data using the JSON format thank you again for watching please subscribe to watch more lessons.